applicability of geothite reduced graphene oxide nanocomposites to remove lead from wastewater. In this presentation, our goal is to offer you a quick summary of the research and conclusions. Please follow the links to review the research in further details. Thanks to all the authors and publishers for making this research public, thereby advancing science and innovation. Heavy metals have been the major pollutants in the last decade around the world. Due to their persistence, bioaccumulation, biomagnification, and toxicity, they represent a threat to aquatic life and especially to human health. Lead ion is the thermodynamically more stable lead species and is one of the most hazardous heavy metals. It affects the nervous, gastrointestinal, reproductive, renal, and cardiovascular systems. In addition, it represents a threat to the environment, especially near mining and smelting zones. Although absorption is the most employed process to remove heavy metals, the use of inefficient absorbent materials for wastewater treatment could be the reason why lead ion is found in concentrations over the permitted limits in drinking water. A clear example is activated charcoal, which has a lower absorption capacity compared to other materials and a relatively high cost. As a result, in recent years, efforts to find alternative absorbents have increased. The absorption of lead on graphene oxide and on two geothite reduced graphene oxide composites in aqueous medium was studied in the paper. The graphene oxide, or GO, was synthesized from a commercial pencil lead. Composites 1 and 2 were prepared from GO and ferrous sulfate. The GO and both composites were characterized using a scanning electron microscopy SEM, scanning transmission electron microscopy STEM, Raman spectroscopy, X-ray diffraction or XRD, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy or FTIR, and dynamic light scattering or DLS. The absorption capacity of lead ion on the GO and both composites was evaluated through absorption isotherms. Composite 1 presented a significant agglomeration of geothite nanorods on the reduced graphene oxide layers. Meanwhile, Composite 2 exhibited a more uniform distribution of nanorods. The absorption of lead ion on the three absorbents fits the Langmuir isotherm with an absorption capacity of 277.78 mg per gram for composite 2200 mg per gram for GO and 138.89 mg per gram for composite 1. Composite 2 emerged as a highly efficient alternative to purify water contaminated with lead ion. The characterization of the materials through SEM, STEM, Raman spectroscopy, XRD, and FTIR allowed the researchers to verify the proper synthesis of the GO and the composites. Using the STEM images, the researchers could differentiate the morphology between the two composites. In the case of Composite 1, a significant agglomeration of geothite nanorods was observed, while for Composite 2, the nanorods were eventually distributed and more spaced with each other. The absorption isotherms of lead ion onto GO and composites at a pH value of 5 were adjusted to the Langmuir model.
It was determined that Composite 2 was the material with the highest absorption capacity, followed by the GO and Composite 1. To conclude, the three synthesized compounds presented a good absorption capacity for lead ion, surpassing the capacity of absorbance used worldwide, such as activated carbon, low-cost materials like weed bran, and even geothite.